Welcome back to Raising Rayburns. Carol here and a happy Monday to you. It is grocery time and you know what? It doesn't feel like there's a whole lot going on on the kitchen counter today. So let me show you all of the things and of course I will share our total at the end. Starting on this side we've got our drinks. We have two gallons of milk this week. I swear the kids have just been going through a milk phase. So figured I would stock up because that's what we've been going through is about one and a half to two gallons a week. We have two two liters of lemon lime soda, one two liter of cherry cola, and one of regular cola there in the back. We also have Thomas's orange juice to grab in the morning for work, my V8 energy drinks, some crayon grape ocean spray grab and go bottles for Mel for school in the morning, a 12 pack of the Big K Cola for Thomas to have with his lunch, some Kool-Aid jammers for Joanna to have with her lunch. Moving on, we have here some Danimals for this week. This is the banana and strawberry variety. Some eggs, and I picked up another one of these Pillsbury ready to bake. This is the Christmas tree ones. We bought some, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Those are all gone by now, <laughs> so picked up another one. Some butter, we are out of salted and unsalted butter, all the baking going on, so I figured I'd get more of those. Some Lunchables, Turkey and American for Joanna, there are five here. Some Wonder Bread for Joanna to make her chicken patty sandwiches and a loaf of bread to have for the week. Some Old El Paso, this is the Crunchy Taco Dinner Kit. I have been craving crunchy tacos lately, so I thought that would be fun for the week for dinner. I needed some more of my Almond Breeze Unsweetened Vanilla. I've been using up a lot uh, with the um, advent calendar I have this month being the hot chocolate varieties. So, so yummy, but I just needed more of my milk. Here in the front, I picked up some cat stuff. This will be for Isla for Christmas, so I figured I'd just go ahead and get it now. We have the savory chicken pate, white tuna. This is the cuts in gravy. Another pate, this is roasted turkey dinner. And then this one is salmon and that's in gravy as well. One, chicken pot pie. I ordered two, but they only had the one in stock, so I may just end up having this for like lunch one day. I'm not sure, or if we do like a fend for yourself dinner night, that could be an option as well. We were in need of some more allergy medicine, a Meprazole, and Joanna needed her Flintstones gummies, so we have that. I got some more chocolate syrup just to have for ice cream and hot cocoa making. A big old thing of goldfish there in the back for snack bins. We'll get those separated into snack bags as well. A giant size cinnamon toast crunch. That was Joanna's request for breakfast for this week. Some white corn tortilla chips, just cause I've been enjoying like just easy nachos at night, just some chips and cheese as like a late night snack. Some fudge swirl deluxe ice cream. Got this for both kids for dessert throughout the week. Mel has been feeling under the weather and requested ramen. So I have some chow mein teriyaki chicken, chow mein teriyaki beef, and some hot and spicy because nothing clears the sinuses quite like that. This Ghirardelli premium baking no sugar added dark chocolate chips was free. We had a free digital coupon and I figured, you know what? I wanna try it. So got that to try for myself. And then for meat for this week, we have the ground beef to go with the tacos. And I accidentally ordered two different types of bacon. At first I ordered the store brand cause it was on sale. And then I saw that this product was also on sale, this uh, farmland bacon. And I forgot to take this one out of the cart. So now we have double the bacon. Friends. It is much later in the day. I totally forgot to do an outro for this grocery haul. So here I am. Let's talk total. Our total for everything that you saw this morning was $158, which not too bad. Um, it did seem like a lot of money for just the amount of things like on the counter, but there was medications in there and um, I did double order that bacon. <laughs> I just can't believe I did that. Anyway, um, so yes, that is our total for this week. We are a family of four. We live in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and we attempt to keep our grocery budget to $200 per week. So I think that makes three weeks in a row 
that we have been under budget and so that is good however <laughs> the caveats that being when you see tomorrow's what's for dinner video it will all pan out in the end i feel like because yes we may have been eating a little bit more takeout than we should have this week so that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up as always my friends do not forget to celebrate the everyday today i am celebrating the fact that we are under a budget again and i am wearing this shirt have yourself a merry little christmas and my plan for the afternoon is to go downstairs edit some youtube videos and i also want to watch maybe a hallmark movie or one of the new netflix christmas movies for this year i did see genie thomas and i watched that and we really enjoyed that one so anywho i love those kinds of movies i'm all about a good happy ending you know life is hard enough on its own okay my friends i will see you in tomorrow's video bye